It's the 8th of October, I'm Jerusha Sukthio Rath, and we're going to have a look at today's newspaper front pages, many of which focus on Brian Habana's amazing try-scoring spree during yesterday's Pool B rugby match in the Rugby World Cup. Of course, that means Brian Habana is now square with Jonah Lomu when it comes to World Cup tries. On the front page of the Cape Argus, it's the Brian Habana Show. The star, the listering box, it says, as Habana is featured. Underneath that, though, killer's bid to inherit. Judge's widow fights for insurance share. On the front page of the Mercury, here we have try, try, and try again. Brian Habana pictured, but above that, anarchists halt key project. Contractors are penalized for up to a million rand a day. On the front page of the Witness, again, box 64, USA zero. Fat payout for wildlife boss, axed Isenvelo KZN CEO leaves quietly with 1.7 million rand for his trouble. On the front page of the Cape Times, Archbishop Emeritus Desmond Tutu pictured above as he celebrated his 84th birthday yesterday and public protector Tuli Maroncella delivered a keynote address during his birthday. Underneath that box, breeze into playoffs, Havana equals Lomu's World Cup try scoring record. On the front page of the Citizen, Habana again featured, but underneath that, here we have uh, Yusuf um, Abramji's son, who is caught with a SAPS radio. National Police Commissioner orders the confiscation of a police radio from the son of Crime Line Bus and Prime Media Head of News, Yusuf Abramji. On the front page of the Times, Tambo No Fly Zone, Control Tower Calamity grounded planes but didn't endanger anyone, say officials. Again, there we are. The Arch gets a birthday lecture from Maroncella. On the front page of the Sweat and War Over Zoomers, his job erupts. On the front page of the Pretoria News, Women Robber Terror, fearsome foursome gang of females on the prowl hitting suburbs. On the front page of DFA, six million rand drug bust. And finally, Business Day reporting that a divided SAB Miller board rejects AB InBev proposal. More on News 24 Live.